Hey, what's going on, pros? We are here today to show you how to install the Fossil Mod. And after I'm going to show you how to install it, uh, Spikey's going to do a spotlight on it, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so let's get started here. First thing we're going to do is download all these. The Mod Loader, the Forge, the newest one, Audio Mod, and Mod Fossil itself. Now you're going to find, first you're going to go to this link that I'm going to paste underneath here and it's going to look like this and you're going to scroll down and you're going to find first one you're going to see Mod Loader. If you're, if you're in a rush you can get direct but give them Go to Alpha, so this way he could get a couple of bucks for the for the work he's done. Okay, he's always on top of it. Every time Minecraft uh, updates, he always gives us you know that first that mod. He's on work with all his mods, and they're for, they're done first. Then you scroll down a little bit more, and you see Audio Mod right down here too. Okay, same thing. You could download it from here. I'm not going to download it because I already did it. Second thing you're going to need from the fossil, when you get down to the fossil mod, and you're gonna, it's going to look like this. You're going to come down to here where it says installation, and it's going to leap you down here. Now you're going to press this forge client right here. It's going to say you need forge, mod loader, and audio mod, okay? So, and you need this resource. To totally forgot to download this resource. But I already downloaded everything else. So let's download this client. This is the forge. So you're going to see here, client, server, or the source. You don't want the source or the server. You want the client one. So you're going to download this. Okay, guys? So let's back up over here again. I'm going to download this source file here onto my desktop here, like so. I'm going to save to desktop, and there it goes, right there. Now, after you download everything, you just close out everything, and here you go. You have everything you need for to, to download this mod, okay? And it's a really cool mod. I've seen the spotlight already. Uh, Spike did a great spotlight on it. And he shows you everything in it almost. Okay, so he left a little bit for the imagination so you guys could get things going by yourselves. So we're going to do it in order. We're going to do it mod loader first, forge, audio mod, and resources, and last mod, okay? So I'm going to do it step by step slowly, so make sure you pause the video if you have to. So let's go down to your start button, and down here you're going to put percentage, app, data, percentage, and you're going to go up to your roaming, and you're going to open your, you're going to find this file, it's called dot .minecraft, and you're going to double click it, and in here you're going to see your bin, resource, all this stuff in here. So let's open your bin, come find your Minecraft jar right here, this one. You're going to right click it and open it up with WinRAR or 7-Zip. And I just opened it up with WinRAR. So, and you're going to scroll down here and you're going to find this file here that says, it's called MetaInf. You're going to right click it, scroll down here and delete that file. If you do not delete this file, it will not work this mod or anything else that you're going to put in here. So, make sure you do that. So, let's um, put the mod loader in first. You're going to come to the mod loader, and you're going to open it up. Okay, and right click it, select all, and you're going to hold down your left clicker on it and drag it over your class files. Make sure you don't drop them over your folders, over your class files, and let go. Okay? And you're going to lock out of here, like so. Okay? Alright, so we'll, let's start up our Minecraft. 
because this way my Minecraft will start running itself and put and mod loader will start making its own little files inside Minecraft like mods and and all the configuration files and so on now there it goes it's running really good okay let's X out of here now my loader is done let's do the forge next same thing you're gonna come down here put percentage app data Okay, you're going to come up to your roaming, and there you go. You're going to see the mods configuration in here, uh, the mod itself, mod loader. So it's in here. So you're going to open it up, bin, and you're going to come down to your Minecraft jar, right click it, and open up a WinRAR or a 7-zip, like I just did. All right, guys, you still following me? Good, very good. Take your time. Make sure you take your time and you have the time. Don't rush. It won't come out good. All right. You're going to right click it and select all files in this thing. And you're going to hold down your left clicker and bring it over your class files and let go. Okay, you're going to come out of this and you're going to run Forge again. Now, Forge is in there, so let's run it. With Forge now, so Forge could stretch his arms inside there and make sure it's known that it's here. So now Forge is in here, as you can see right down here, it says Minecraft Forge 3.3.8.152. And now this time you can see a new mod folder right on your screen and you can check it that you have what mods you have in your game now. Right now, all we have is Mod Loader and Forge. So let's get out of this. It's running good. So now let's finish this up. You're going to go into your app, start app data, and come up to your Minecraft jar again, like this, what I just did. And you're going to open up your bin down to your Minecraft jar again and open up a WinRAR or 7-zip. There we go. You're going to back this up a little bit. First thing we're going to do is take this resource file that they uh, give you. And right here, make sure you download this from the website with the mod. Okay, It has a source file. You have to take it. Okay, So open it up. And you're going to find a file in here that's so going to call the resource. You're going to highlight it by clicking it and hold it down with your left clicker and bring it over here right under right under your files here and let go and say okay thank you and you're gonna close this out and you don't need this bin anymore so you could close that out alright here we go so now all we have is the audio mod and the fossil mod. So let's open this up. Yes. Okay. You're going to highlight all these. Left click it, hold it down, and bring it over your class files down here and let go. There we go. That's the audio mod is in there. Everything looks good. Now we're going to go to your fossil mod. This is a pretty big mod, so make some room in your class files down here. And you're going to open it up with WinRAR or 7-zip. And you're going to left click it and select all files. Hold down your left clicker and bring it right over your class files. And let go. And press OK. Now everything's in there. Looks good. Alright, let's test this out. Let's start off your Minecraft. And make hopefully cross your fingers, make sure everything looks good. Everything looks like it just loaded here. I can see that. All the all the mods just loaded up. And Minecraft just came out. Alright, so let's take a look at the mods. You got mod loader, forge, you got the time machine, 
and the fossil. Now the time machine used to be separate, that you had a time machine and go back into time. But now these guys joined forces and now the fossil and astrology mod and the time machine mod are working together to make one big mod just for you know dinosaurs and stuff like that. This is what is so cool about this mod. And I, I can't believe nobody's has uh, messed around with it. And uh, stay tuned. Um, let's see if it runs first. Let's start a new world. I'm going to put it in creative to see if I have all the stuff in there in my inventory. Just to check. Let's open up. Let's open this up a little bit. Oh, well, I'm on an island not much here. I'm going to open up my inventory and take a peek in here. See what we have. Oh yeah, this stuff is not. We got fossils. We have some ancient swords and eight. Whoa, we could find all kinds of stuff. Look. Javelins. The, these guys have worked on this stuff hard and you find eggs and all kinds of stuff, guys. There goes the time machine. I don't know how it works, but I bet uh, Spike had a good time with it. All right. So stay tuned for Spike Spotlight, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give us a like. Make sure you comment and let us know how much you love us. And make sure everything's said on the comments. I want to hear them all. I hope everything works out for you. Good luck, guys. Peace. What's going on, pros? Back in another mod spotlight of death. And uh, this one is uh, why am I still dancing? This one is the dinosaur mod. Well, not dinosaur, fossil mod. And uh, this right here is my Velociraptor egg, which I'm gonna push around for a little while. Maybe like kill him, but uh, I do want him to be mine, so I have to stay close. But uh, first, we're gonna show off some cool stuff. We're gonna show off my saber tooth and my little baby water majig. And well, let me show you right now. Over here are the brachiosaurus, nice big, tall monsters. Here, have a pig. about he just died okay whatever that's cool dying is cool right so right here is my kind of sort of a uh, little arrangement sequence I just dump a couple squids in here a couple squids they don't overflow Maybe dump a little bunch of squids in here. Dump a little bunch of squids in here. Oh, yes. Let me push this. I keep hearing that weird sound. It's my stupid saber tooth tiger. I'm having a party over there. I'll get to uh, fossils in a second. Oh, and my little mammoth. That's my little mammoth. I'll show you him in a second. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong animal. Well, that's him going to kill a bunch of squids. He's just murdering away, as you can see. Poor pig, he's gonna get eaten. Oh, this is my dino egg. Is he mine? Yeah, this is my little baby dino. My Velociraptor, I will call him Sparky, and he shall be my Sparky. Come along, Sparky. Don't bathe. Bathe! No! Sparky! No, please, please, Sparky, I love you. I don't want you to get eaten by the nasty. So if I just come over here, and I, and I spawn a couple pigs on top of each other, they'll all explode. Are you hungry? You want to eat this pig? 
Eat that pig. No, this one. Eat him. Get him. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah. Get this one. Are you trying to kill this pig? Okay. Um, you have fun. Oh. So that's my Velociraptor. He's eating away. He's hunting this this very lonely pig alone. Okay. I'll, I'll meet you at the base, all right? Velociraptor Majig. Death. Let me just dump all of this and switch to survival. If I just come over here and I put slash game mode one. No, wrong one. Game mode zero. And I just mine up this. You can see that I'm getting these uh these kind of relics once in a while. Come on, show it off. Yeah, there we go. Right here is a biofossil. This you use to get DNA and stuff like that. And if I just place it on the ground, I get uh some interesting stuff. I get uh some statues. And this right here is a skull. And if you put a torch in it, you get a skull lantern. You can't put it on your head like a pumpkin. I wish you could. Your skull vision. And uh that's actually about it. Flying, spiky, away. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.